centers at the thoracic spine from T1 to L2 there's two chains of sympathetic nerves that spread out throughout the body and I thought well possibly mechanically these patients are over irritating the sympathetics which is causing all the symptoms of ME and ME basically if you look at all the symptoms it's symptoms of sympathetic nervous system disarray and again this is another patient with it and then there's sometimes you had some patients where you could actually see some spinal abnormalities if you did an MR scan and over here you can see in the spinal cord there's a syrinx in this patient a swelling a cyst in this in a, in a spinal cord same patient has a Chiari malformation which is uh, the bottom of the cerebellum in the brain actually dips slightly into the into the um, foramen magnum of the spinal cord and this is this is an abnormality that has been noted by Professor uh, Dr. David Ho in America and has done has done research into this area of of Chiari malformation leading to uh, chronic fatigue syndrome but we looked at the, spi uh, uh, the brain of this patient and the brain was absolutely, there's no problems at all with the brain, it's a pure, pure, perfectly healthy brain. If you did a standard MR scan, and one part of my research later on at Manchester University was looking at MR scanning of patients, and we noted that the standard MR scanning that you'd be sent by your GP to, not the, the extra ones that you've seen, the spectro spect spectrography <coughs> or, or the uh, functional MRI or the spec scans, but the standard MR scans don't show up any major abnormality. And we did a long uh, test, we, did, uh, we had 18 patients who went through a, before, uh, a year of, uh, of, of scanning uh, compared to uh, nine, health, nine healthy, patient, healthy, healthy people. And we showed, in th this is a, a research done at Manchester University in, in, uh, a few years ago now, where we showed there was no abnormality that we could see in the standard MR scanning, which is very significant because a lot of patients might be sent by, MR, uh, by doctors for MR scanning and they'll say, well, we can't find anything wrong with you. There's nothing wrong there. But it doesn't have to show. You need specialised scanning. But let's go back to the sympathetic nervous system. This is a nervous system that was always believed to be very much an efferent system, sending messages out to different organs, causing changes in blood flow to organs and changes in, 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 uh, um, in, in not just blood flow, but you've got changes in um, the sweat glands and changes in all sorts of parts of the body and the heart rate changes. This sympathetic nerves, as we've heard this morning, is affected. But uh, there's a Professor Frank Willard in New England uh, who has done a lot of extensive anatomy into the sympathetic nervous system and he's shown that 70 to 80 percent of all sympathetic nerves are afferent, actually send messages to the, the, the hypothalamus rather than from the hypothalamus because it's the hypothalamus which is the, the major problem uh, area uh, as you've heard before, the hypothalamic pituitary axis is involved in virtually everybody's studies and we know this goes wrong. But why? What's going on? What, what mechanism is causing this to happen? Why do some patients get ME and some not? You've heard suggestions today. I've, I've um, with, my, with my extensive um, treat, cl uh, clinical treatment of patients and, and the research I've done at Salford University in Manchester, I've come up with a hypothesis. 